we've got a small carrier unit. Um, thermostat was flashing when I got here with the batteries. I got a common hooked up. Um, start with 24 volt power. Nothing. Maybe I should have started with high voltage. Disconnect. We're just gonna go with tone. Check our fuses. We got continuity through the fuses. Check our incoming power if I can do this. So we're not getting nothing. We've tripped the breaker somewhere. Checked the usual spots. Somebody's secured some wires already. The belt's a little worn, but probably a little too tight. I don't smell anything odd. Let's uh, come over here and get some water in there. That could be a problem. Oh, well. Say that's why we tripped our breaker. So we're gonna get these terminals cleaned up and we'll mount this compressor and we'll see where we go from here. This thing's pretty old, so we might have a little bit of life back into it before it needs to go. So the compressor owned out okay. This isn't the best setup. Just trying to get them some air temporarily. They're gonna have to have a most likely a new unit, but got my terminals cleaned up, got it on there. We're gonna cycle it, see if it won't run. And one thing you gotta remember is always check your major components, especially if you have one fail. This was a pretty good giveaway. There was gonna be a cracked heat exchanger. The front plate here will called a retaining plate it will overheat with that and trip the limit switch so that's gonna cause issues in itself but I had a feeling even though the heat exchanger looks like it may have been replaced at some point it's been a few years we got some rust but no cracks here then if I can get you in there right there on the corner it's just ate up all the hell same way there so they need a heat exchanger too we're gonna shut the ramp draw and turn this bad boy on I have checked power and I do have three phase power coming in 208 volts Don't push the contactor in unless you know what the hell you're doing. They're gonna keep rising. Might get better, it might help them put that panel on over there. So panel's back on, he's running. Run load amps on the compressor is 16. Looking pretty good. Well, as good as it can look. I'm about 56 degrees supply air. I was running about 78 or so on my return. Not the best place for the supplier, but it's at least running until we can get a new unit in here. 
Big picture, guys. Don't work with your blinders on. This is the second unit, same location. I can feel the airflow on this thing. I'm gonna have to split clean this coil. If you're seeing it on the outside of a split coil, that inside's pretty plugged up. And the condenser fans won't blow up, they'll blow out, recirculate some of that air. So we're gonna have to clean this one up. I'll drag my hoses up here and do that shortly. Make sure they have air in case that other thing dies again, but again, heat exchanger, this one looks newer.